they hung up on me. I said, hi, man. If you're going to preach that, man, come on. Put your seed money in my ministry and God bless you. I'll take your seed money because I know you got a lot of seeds. <laughs> but see... This is where this is where it comes with I'm I'm not into this, you know, if you put ten dollars your God will make a thousand dollars. No. Because if God doesn't trust you with ten dollars, he's not going to give you a thousand. <laughs> right? Hello, McFly, anybody home? <laughs> no, God's not going to give you that. God will only give you how much he trusts you. The reason why you can't give because you don't trust God. Ouch. That's kind of r- cruel, Robert. I'm being honest. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will direct your path. Amazing, isn't it? When we begin to trust Him, guess what He does? It, all of the things that were supposed to be important, that we thought was important, all of a sudden, He's like, don't worry about it. I got you covered. You're trusting me? You're trusting me. What you will do this Sunday morning, what you will do today, will set the agenda for the next 12 months for the history of this church. What you will do today, what you will give today, will influence somebody else's life where they will spend eternity. Thank you, and I'll see you at 5 o'clock. We'll have a great old time. We are somebody's of God people. We don't drink or smoke. But we love to eat, man. The way I look at it, all these people who are on diet, if you're on diet, don't come, man. No, come. Listen, for 2,000 years, he has been cooking. And I don't want to go to heaven and eat a little bit. Well, we'll be at the trough, buddy. We'll be eating some. I'm practicing from now. So, if tonight after the service, don't bother me. I don't want to be bothered. I'm wanting to eat. So, if you have any questions before we eat, you can ask me. After that, I don't want to talk to you. We will be eating, right, Pastor? Hallelujah. Let's have a great old time. Let's break all records. Thank you so much for coming. Pastor, I am honored, sir, just to be around you. God bless you, Robert. Amen. Hallelujah. (laughs) Hallelujah. Okay, uh, have our ushers, do they have they passed out to face promises already? Yes or no? Okay, let's go ahead. If you do not have your faith promise, raise your hand. Amen, we've got a bunch of them. Okay, let's go ahead and get those out, and uh, we will receive this a wonderful faith promise offering this morning. Hallelujah. This is exciting. Miss Donnery, can I have one? Amen. Now, you notice it has two parts. Uh, one part you will fill out and turn into us, and you will keep the other part for your record. We do not keep these. Once we tally these, once we tally these, we will throw this away. We do not keep this. This is between you and God. Amen? We simply want you to ask God what you are to give, and just be faithful to write it down on there. If you don't have a pencil, raise your hand. We will give you a pencil. Someone who has Brother Nick. We've got some uh, lady right over here don't have pencils over here on my right. Uh, brother, we need to get a couple of pencil pens. Pens, pencils. Yes, amen. Give it to me and I'll fill it in. Amen. <laughs> amen. I am going to fill mine in while we're, I'm standing here because God's already spoken to me on what to give.
Wow, hasn't it just been a beautiful service? Hallelujah. A faith promise says if God don't provide it, I don't have to give it. A faith promise is not what you can do, it's what God can do through you. Amen. This church has been built on the promises of God. You know that? We have seen this church go from 30 people in seven years to what you see here today. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. Okay. Is everybody finished writing? Just bow your head just very quickly and uh, let's just all say, Father God, you give me the figure to give and I will be faithful to honor you. In your name we pray. Amen. And you just fill it out. If you put down a figure and it's not what God said, scratch it off, put another one up or down. That's between you and God. We will take these tonight. We will give you the total and we will celebrate what God is doing through this church. Last year, we gave around a hundred thousand dollars to missions. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is big. Amen. We do not back up to what God is doing. Every cent that you give, this is over above beyond your tithes and offerings. This is your mission giving. And we, this, every cent goes to missionaries. We support 45 missionaries now. We want to pick up some more missionaries. Amen. We want to be a part of ministries. I want Brother Robert to share just a moment or two with you tonight about a ministry that he's in. That's very important. And we want to listen and we want God's heart in this matter. God wants you to know that he's got a plan for your life. And I tell you what, when I go, when I reach those heavenly gates and I see Jesus, I want him to say, well done. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Now listen carefully. This man comes here. And he does not ask for one dime. He does not say, I've got to have this to come to your church. I come because I want to be a part of something great. I want to be a part of what God's doing. He has needs just like every one of us. And I want you right now, I want you to go ahead and ask God what to give to him. We're going to take up the, we're going to pass the basket in a moment. You're going to put the offering in it for him, for Brother Robert. And you're going to come up here. And you're going to put your faith promise in here. Because I want you to plant that seed. But I'm going to ask, first of all, the ushers to come forth right now.